I'm Andy. We're hanging out with Drummer Zone. I uh, want to show you a couple of the new products we got on the Vic Burst side this year. Two main things I want to talk about is our Modern Jazz Collection and our Cajon products. Modern Jazz Collection is five models, and these have kind of been born out of artist collaborations through the years. A lot of people don't realize that there's stuff that we've made through the years. Sometimes we make them for ourselves as players around the office, and sometimes we make them for an artist who calls in and wants something specific. Well, over time, some of these things that we've come up with that we never really intended to sell have done really well, and they're really good sticks, and we've had people asking for them, so we decided to put them out. That's the Modern Jazz Collection. If you're familiar with the Vic Firth 55A, that's something between a 5A and a 5B. It's a little bit thicker than a 5A. This is going to be really comfortable for you. It's right in that zone in terms of length. The taper is a little bit longer than our typical tapers are, which is standard for a jazz stick. And it's got a, a larger tip on it. So all those factors combined, there's really a lot of wood behind it when you play the ride cymbal, or really anything, but especially the ride cymbal. Get more weight and emphasis into your ride. So it's a great, great sounding stick. A little heavier than you might expect for jazz, but again, these models are not just for jazz. I, I myself don't play jazz, and I'm finding some of these very, very cool. So don't let the name scare you. Check them out. They're all like wildly unique. The MJC2 probably couldn't be more different from the MJC1. It's a lot thinner. This one's going to be thinner than a 5A is. And the taper on it, if I slide this down, You can see how much longer the taper is. It comes all the way back to here. Taper on the one, while is still a long taper, is much shorter. What that's gonna do when you're playing, it's gonna really, really be a fast stick. So this moves around the kit very quickly, very effortlessly. As soon as you play it, yeah, I'm playing on a pad now, but on any surface, it bounces right back at you. So it's very, very quick stick. The other thing you notice is the tip. This is an elongated arrow-shaped tip and all that surface area comes in contact with the cymbal. You get some really wide tones, a lot of overtones on the cymbal. It's very, very cool sounding stuff. We really don't have another tip like this. If you are familiar with the Vic Firth 8D, this is really right in the 8D wheelhouse. So that's a little, little less than a 5A, a little more than a 7A in terms of diameter. It's a bit longer, and again, it's got a long taper on it. So it has kind of a little bit of an upfront feel from the length but then the taper kind of brings it all back into balance. Tip shape is similar to the MJC1, but smaller. And the neck is proportionate to the tip. So the neck is not too skinny for the size of this tip, which could be a durability issue. Really well balanced. I'm gonna go to the MJC4 next. This is the only one in the collection that's maple. So it's a 5B diameter, 0.595, and it's maple, so you get a thicker stick kind of fills up your hand a little more, gives you a little more confidence of having something like that in your hand, but it's light because of the maple. And it also has that really distinctive maple sound on the ride cymbal. The tip of this, if anybody out there has ever played the Vic Firth SD4, which is also maple, very, very similar tip shape and size. So the cymbal color that you get out of an SD4 is similar to what you can expect out of this. And another very long taper on this one, not quite as long as the two, but very long. So again, fast around the drums, really comes right back at you. Um, just an effortless stick to play. We got the MJC5. This one's the only one that we have with a nylon tip. Another one that's kind of in that 8D zone, so thicker than a 7A, thinner than a 5A, pretty comfortable place. Long taper on it, so it's quick around the drums. And the nylon tip, a lot of people play nylon for added durability or for really, really bright cymbal sounds. But if you just play a darker cymbal and you want to add just a little bit of brightness to your cymbal, this will do it.